I have just got 2024 ICSC board paper of mathematics. When I spoke to the students, they said that it was uh, really easy, just barring from one to application, it was very, very reasonable. Now, you must be eager to see where you went wrong, where you scored marks. So here we are, and we are going to look at section A MCQs just now first. And let us look at the MCQs right now. So we have MCQs of 15 marks in section A, that is 40 marks. Let's look at our first question. The GST paid by a dealer to the central government is rupees 120. If the market price of the article is 2000, then the rate of GST is. So we have the mark price as this and the CGST is this. So CGST is going to be equal to let us say X percent that is X upon 100 of 2000 which is the mark price and that is 120 equal to let's cancel the zeros and we will have X into 20 that will give us X equal to 6 percent. This would be the CGST rate so GST rate will be twice that option is C that is 12 percent. The second subpart what must be subtracted from the polynomial this so that the result is exactly divisible by x minus 3. So if x minus 3 is dividing x minus 3 equal to 0 x is equal to 3 and then we'll have f of x equal to this for which we will say let m be subtracted. So this polynomial will take as this minus m. All right. And f of x will be this. So we will find f of 3 and we'll just substitute here just to save on time. So it will be 3 cube which is 27. This will be plus 3 square, so that is 9. This is minus 3 to 6 and plus 1 and minus m. Now, if it is exactly divisible, means f of 3, which is the remainder, must be 0. So here, let us check out what do we get here. So this is 9 and 1, 10. So you have 37 and 37 minus m double check 9 and 1 10 added to this 37 37 minus 6 so it will be minus 6 also to be kept here so that will give us m here and 37 minus 6 that will be 31 and the option is this Let us look at the third MCQ. The roots of the quadratic equation px squared minus qx plus r equal to 0 are real and equal. Real and equal means discriminant is equal to 0. And discriminant means b squared minus 4ac that should be equal to 0. This is our b, this is our a, this is our c. So b square means minus q whole square. Some of you can do this mentally, but I'm just doing this a little slower so that everybody understands. Okay, so this will give us positive q square minus 4pr equal to 0. So you will have q square is equal to 4pr. How does it uh, p square? Not this one. Q square 4pr. Yes, this is the correct option. Let's look at this. No, not this. No, not this. So correct option is B. Now you know how to write your answers, right? If it's the third one, you write over there. Third one and you write B and you write Q square equal to 4pr. So this is how you have to mention this and then the fourth one if you're working is stopping here you could make one column 
and then we can write the fourth one where you finish the third solution and then although we say it's mental maths it's better that you work it out and write your steps write your answers as well the fourth one a is this and a square is this then what is the value of x so if we take a square it will be 2 2 0 2 and it will be multiplied by itself and when we multiply we will get 2 by 2 matrix so first row first column will be 4 here plus 0 then here first row second column will be here 4 and 4 so 4 plus 4 then second row first column will be like so so this 0 this 0 so 0 plus 0 and then we come to this one that is second row second column so it will be this into this so it will be 0 and here 2 to 4 so 0 plus 4 so it's coming out to be they are saying uh, x so we don't really have to solve this remember this is going to be x if we are going to say the corresponding elements are equal of the equal matrices then x is going to be equal to 8 and that is your option c i already told you how we have to write the answers let's move to the next one the next one is the median median of the following observations arranged in ascending order and the median is 64 so find the value of x now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so n is even now rather than writing the formula that median is equal to n upon 2th term plus n upon 2 plus 1th term the whole thing upon 2 the average of that you can have the shortcut method for MCQ and you know the method, right? So in the middle we have x and x plus 4. So x plus x plus 4, the two terms I have added and divided by 2 the average, that's going to be the median which is 64. So you'll have 2x plus 4 equal to, this will be multiplied by 2, so 128. So 2x is equal to 4 goes that side. So 124x will be half of it, which is 62. Where is 62? So it's important that you get sufficient steps for you to get clarity about the choices. And once you are clear, just go ahead and move to the next one. Do let me know if you're finding this video useful. Points A x comma y b 3 comma minus 2 and c are collinear the value of y in terms of x now if they're collinear their slopes are going to be equal so slope of a b if we call this as m1 and slope of b c if we call as m2 then in my rough working column i can mentally say like this but since i'm making the video of it i'll just show you some steps so this will be y2 minus y1 in each case. So y2 minus y1, I want to take y2 minus y1 here. So it will be y minus minus 2 means plus 2 upon x2 minus x1 means x minus 3. And for m2, let us take this. So y2 minus y1, you could do this way also y2 minus y1. So that will be minus 5 minus this means minus minus 2 means plus 2 and x2 minus x1 so that is 4 minus 3 that will give us that will give us y plus 2 upon x minus 3 equal to minus 5 minus 3 upon 1 now if you cross multiply they are saying y in terms of x so we want y this side so cross multiply y plus 2 will be equal to minus 3x and this into this will be plus 9 so that will give us y equals 
minus 3x and 2 goes there so it becomes plus 7. Did we have minus 3x plus 7? Can you see this minus 3x plus 7? It's written in reverse order but this is the correct option. The seventh one in the table here distance covered and the time taken by the train moving at a uniform speed along a straight track has been given. So distance is 60 in time 2 seconds, 90 in x seconds and y in 5 seconds. The values of x and y are, now remember the velocity will remain the same. So it will be velocity will be equal to distance upon time. So basically it is your slope. Distance against time will give us slope will be same because it's a straight line. It is along a, a straight track. Straight track means it will be uniform velocity. So 60 upon 2 will be the same as 90 upon x will be the same as y upon 5. Now this is equal to 30. So if you take these two, we will get x equal to x comes here, 30 comes down here. So 90 upon 30, that is equal to 3. So option 3 we have here and here. Let's check it out for y. Now y again you will take y upon 5 will be equal to 30. So y will be equal to 5 multiplies that 30, so it will be 150. Where is the option with uh, 150? Huh. Now 150 here and here we see y equal to, but both will be correct. See here. Now here these two are mismatched here, but this one is the correct option. We got y equal to 3 and, sorry, we got x equal to 3 and y equal to 150 so it is option D. We come to question 8 the seventh term of the given arithmetic progression this is the arithmetic progression and we want the seventh term now your general formula is a n equal to a plus n minus 1 into D so a 7 is going to be a plus 7 minus 1 means 6 D yeah now what is our a a is the first term which is 1 upon a but what is the uh, what is the difference between the consecutive terms that will be a2 minus a1 now a2 minus a1 in that case you can do this mentally also but i'll just show you the step this is your a2 and minus the first term is 1 upon a see what happened so your d is equal to 1 which is a2 minus a1. So you will have a which is 1 upon a plus it will be 6 into 1. So what will be the correct option here? 1 upon a plus 6. Where is 1 upon a plus 6? Here. So a is the first option. Let's come to the ninth one. A sum invested to purchase 15 shares of a company of nominal value rupees 75 available at a discount of 20 percent is now sum invested to purchase that means investment is to be found out 15 shares so n is equal to 15 and nominal value which is also called as face value is rupees 75 but available at a discount so how much is the discount discount is going to be 75 you will have to multiply by 20 upon 100 so 25 threes 25 fours four ones and four fives so discount is 15 rupees so therefore the mv that is market value of the share will be 75 minus 15 which is rupees 60 so he is buying 15 shares 60 rupees each so the total investment is going to be n multiplied by 60 means 15 multiplied by 60 15 6 is 90 so we will get 900 that is option d let us come to the 10th one 
the circum center of a triangle is a point where now in order to get the circum circle for the triangle we need to get the perpendicular bisectors of the sides like this any two sides where they intersect that is going to be the circum center it will be equal distance from three sides now if it is circum center then it has to pass through all the vertices that means this distance will be equal to this distance will be equal to this distance equal to the radii circum radii right so it will be equal distance from the vertices where does it say equal see there this is the correct one what are they saying point of intersection no that's a centroid this is see, that's orthocenter so the correct option is b so this was our 10th one we have 15 mcqs so let's quickly look at those Statement 1 says sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Yes, it is true. And it says cosec square theta plus cot square theta is equal to 1. Now when it came to cot square theta, our identity is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. So if I have to take cot square that side, then I will have cosec square theta minus cot square theta will be equal to 1. What did they say cosec square theta? They put plus sign here. So this is wrong. So which of the following is valid? Only one is valid. Only two. Both one and two. And both one and two. Neither one nor two. Uh, now only one is valid, two is wrong, you can't say both and and neither this also is wrong. So only one from the two statements is true. So the correct option is A. Twelfth question is the circle question. I had told you to focus more on circles because it is a very popular topic. PT and PS. P, T, P, S are tangents to the circle. S, Q is parallel to P, T. So we have, okay. And S, P, T is 80. S, P, T, this is given as 80 degrees. The value of Q, S, T. Where is Q, S, T? That is this one. So we will have this and this. They are equal. So this angle over here will be equal to this angle over here this is 80 so x and x and 80 will give us 180 so 2x will be equal to 180 minus 80 that is 100 so x will be equal to 50 degrees correct so this is 50 degrees and this one also is 50 degrees but we want this angle right so what is the connection between this angle and this one? Nothing. Because this one is not a diameter, so there is no connection, right? But this angle and this angle, don't they, don't they look like this? Aren't they angles in this Z? So they are alternate angles. So this angle will also be 50 degrees because this angle and this angle, let me make it a little clearer this angle and this angle both of them are going to be equal so if this is 50 this becomes 50 so where is 50 here option d seems to be pretty simple paper not too many applications so far let us look at 13th one assertion a a die is thrown once and the probability of getting an even number is 2 upon 3 this becomes equal to 4 upon 6, right? There are 6 faces, so there are 6 numbers. The favorable outcomes will have to be 2, 4 and 6. They are even numbers. So there are 3 out of 6. So basically it should be 1 upon 2, but they are saying 2 upon 3. So they are wrong, right? The sample space of even numbers of the die is 2, 4, 6. Yes, this is correct. So this is wrong, but this is correct. Where's the option? A is true and R 
is false no a is false r is true uh, yeah b option is the correct 14th mcq a regular sheet of paper of size 11 cm by 7 cm is first rotated about its side 11 cm and then about the side 7 cm to form a cylinder regular sheet of paper so this is our regular sheet of paper it is first rotated about the side 11 so first rotated along this so we have along this that means it became like this okay you are rolling it this way so this is 7 so this circumference is going to be 11 centimeter okay I'm going to call that as C1 and then it is rotated about the size 7 centimeter so it is going to be rotated like this Ada. so this is 11 and this is 7 so this is 7 centimeter which is the circumference 2 what are they saying the ratio of this curved surface area so CSA 1 is to CSA 2 that is CSA of this structure and this structure will be 2 pi R1 H1 is to 2 pi R2 H2 now can you see this 2 pi R1 is this part which is 11 centimeter and this 2 pi R2 this portion is 7 centimeter okay so it is going to be here 11 centimeter that is 2 pi r1 into h1 will be 7 is to 2 pi r2 that is the 7 multiplied by 11 and if you cancel you will get 1 is to 1 and that is our answer where is it option a let us come to the 15th question in the given diagram triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR so AD and PS are bisectors of BAC and QPR respectively all right so ABC that means A is equal to P B is equal to Q and C is equal to R now if A is equal to P and if these are bisectors so if this is X this also will be X so this one will be the same angle here 2X and 2X and bisector makes it X and X now obviously we can have this triangle will be similar to this triangle that is ABD did they say ABD yeah ABD let us say ABD will be PQS did they have that PQS yes this is right let us look at ABC and PQS ABC and PQS no ABD that is this one and PSR this one no ABC and PSR ABC and PSR no so the correct option is this hope you all understood this now see these are 15 MCQs I hope everyone's got 15 on 15. I'm going to end this video just now because I don't want the video to be too long. So I hope. So I'm going to end the video over here. And all of you, you could just write in the comment whether you got 15 on 15 or how many marks you lost, how many marks uh, you are confused about. I hope the confusion was gone. And I am going to put question two and three in the next video so watch it and you can subscribe to the channel for more value in your maths okay thank you for watching bye